One day, Hiro was busy working on a new robot when his micro bot started knocking against the edge of its Petri dish. Baymax saw the microbot. Tiny robot is trying to go somewhere, Baymax observed. Why don't you find out where? Hiro said distractedly. The microbot in the Petri dish worked like a compass. Amax was correctly following it as long as TGE Microbot was tapping straight ahead. Baymax followed it, right out the door. Baymax stared at the Microbot. He was so focused on making sure it was pointing straight ahead that he did not bother to look at where he was going. The Microbot led him across the street and onto a trolley car. From the window, Hiro saw what was happening. He raced to catch up with Baymax, but TGE trolley car pulled away as the trolley rolled down the street. Baymax kept his eyes on the microbot. He was headed on the right direction until the trolley turned. It was time for Baymax to get back on course. Amax followed the micro butts tapping, even though it meant climbing up to the road of a tall building. As Baymax followed the micro butt straight ahead, he took a big step onto elevated railroad tracks. Oh no, said Baymax. A train was heading full speed right at him. Luckily, followed the micro, but led Baymax out of the path of the train and into a large shopping area. Baymax followed the tiny robot toward an escalator. He went down and up. Baymax wondered where the tiny robot wanted to go. The microbot continued to tap, leading Baymax out of the mall and into an alley. Finally, Baymax stopped in front of a gate warehouse. Completely out of breath, Hiro arrived behind him. I have found where your tiny robot want to go, Baymax said. The microbot continued tapping toward a chain covered door. Locked, Hiro said. There is a window, Baymax said, pointing up. Hiro sighed. He wasn't so sure he wanted to know where the micro bot was going anymore. 